Good morning, everybody. Good to have you here today. Hope uh, your week is going well halfway through. And uh, thank you for taking a few minutes this morning with me to uh, look back at the Psalms again today. And uh, we're going <laughs> to look at an interesting, uh, interesting uh, phrase this morning that the psalmist uses. And so if you'll get your Bible and turn with me to the 119th Psalm, if you're able, um, not driving, uh, or your phone or your tablet. Um, but uh, let's look at this uh Curious, uh, curious verse. And let's back up and um, remember uh, what he said in verse 69. He says, The proud have forged a lie against me, but I will keep thy precepts with my whole heart. Uh, and so the proud or the, the wicked, uh, those who are persecuting him, uh, have told some type of lie. They have created some type of, uh, of story that they're telling about the psalmist, um, and uh, he calls them out for that and <clears throat> is determined that in spite of uh, the attacks on him, uh, that he will not turn his back on the Lord, that he'll continue to serve uh, the, uh, the Lord and be obedient to his word. Uh, and then in verse 70, we have this... Um, uh, cholesterol filled verse uh, that says their heart is as fat as grease but I delight in that law um, gotta tell you that's about it I think that if you were ranking the curious uh, interesting uh, statements in the Bible uh, that um, would have to be I think top three anyway uh, that's that's got to be um, <laughs> one of the all-time best. Uh, their heart is as fat as grease. What exactly is he saying uh, about his adversaries? What is he saying about the enemy, the wicked? Uh, when he says that their heart is fat as grease, um, he, he is saying that their heart um, is uh, it's a hard heart. Um, that uh, they are uh, insensitive, um, that uh, they are um, uh, insensitive in the way that they are uh, treating him, uh, that they are uh, cold-hearted, um, and uh, it's, uh, again, it's kind of a, uh, a comical uh, statement statement uh, when uh, he says that uh, their heart uh, is as uh, fat as grease. It's really um, kind of a, um, it's a, it's a vulgar idea. I mean, it's, it's something that, you know, if you were to see it, uh, the idea is that it would, you know, it would gross you out. Their heart is, uh, is nasty. Uh, again, we, the word fat is used in the Bible in uh, in two different ways. Uh, sometimes we'll see the word uh, fat used to describe uh, the blessings uh, of God. Um, you know, in our society, fat is almost always uh, a negative uh, idea. Uh, but um, we talk about, uh, the Bible talks about it in places about uh, the fatness, and, and it's talking about uh, the um, the, the, we'll talk about the fatness of an animal. Um, and you may be like me when I'm, uh, if I'm eating meat, I trim every little piece of fat I can off. But in, in their day, the fat was actually, uh, it was the part that was reserved for God. It was part of the sacrifice. And so it was a, uh, very, uh, important part. Uh, so it was used that way sometimes. But here, uh, when this word is, uh, is used, um, again, he's talking about them having, uh, hearts that are, uh, when he says fat is grease, um, again, it's a, a life that is a heart that is, uh, again, vulgar, that is gross, uh, that is, is nasty, uh, is what he's saying about his enemy. He says, but I delight uh, in the law. 
And uh, when I read that verse um, and I think about it, here, here's the thought uh, that comes to, to my mind. Um, uh, when, I, when I look at that, he says, my enemies, uh, their heart is as fat as grease. They're vulgar, they're wicked, they're evil, but I delight in the law. Uh, to me, when I read that, what I hear is I'm not stooping to their level. Uh, I'm not going down uh, to uh, to to act like them. Uh, we talked about this some um, uh, yesterday as well. Uh, that uh, the almost normal, natural response is uh, to get even, um, to to lash out, to strike back. Uh, but uh, the psalmist here he says, just because uh, my enemy's heart is wicked because my enemy's heart uh, is wicked because it's gross. Um, I, I don't have to go to that level. I don't have to uh, to act like that. I want to delight uh, in the law. Uh, I'm going to learn from uh, this situation. Uh, I'm going to I'm going to mature. Uh, from what's happening in my life, um, and I'm going to, you know, I'm not going to allow their attacks. Uh, I'm not going to allow their lies uh, to to drag me down. But I'm going to uh, I'm going to use those as uh, as fuel. I'm going to use those as uh, stepping stones uh, that I will be closer uh, to the Lord. And that's a real challenge for us today. Uh, again, it's a real, that's a real battle um, because, again, the natural reaction is to lash out, um, to, to stoop down to the level of the attacker. Um, but we should find uh, our uh, delight uh, in the Lord. Uh, we should learn uh, the lesson that God is trying to teach us from our uh, circumstance and from uh, the enemies that come uh, against us that we should uh, we should learn from that and uh, it should drive us to the Word of God uh, it should drive us to God uh, that we would learn and uh, and know more about him and his work and again that's a real challenge for us that, that's a hard thing to do uh, it uh, again the natural uh, the, the, the flesh side of us uh, wants revenge, uh, but uh, the spiritual side of us, the godly side of us, should bring us uh, closer to God. And so that's my prayer for you today, uh, and uh, I hope you pray the same for me, uh, that uh, the circumstances, whatever may come today, uh, will cause us to delight uh, in the Lord, that will draw us closer to Him rather than drawing us closer uh, to the actions uh, of our enemy. All right, hope that helps you through the day, and I hope you have a great day, and we'll see you back here tomorrow morning.